Hello everyone and welcome to Rise of Insanity. Um Yeah. That's it. Isn't isn't my channel so entertaining? You love it. You love it. That's why you're here. Also, I'm in the other corner today. Or that corner. This corner today. Hello. If you have epilepsy, don't watch this video. Okay? Or a weak heart. Because I'm going to be screaming very loudly. Keep calm. Relax. And calm down. I do. Calm all your senses. You're pissing me off by telling me to calm down so much. Stephen Dollar. You are here because your disorders started to get out of control. You ceased to behave normally, and disturbing thoughts took control of you. You will undergo my original therapy. I will show you the film I created. And at the end, you will tell me what feelings you have while watching it. And if you saw anything worrying. Yo, doctor. Uh, what the fuck was that? No? <sighs> Here we are. Here we go. Um, the patient's data. Edward, 41 years old, day September 1st. I know Edward as far back as I remember. He worked as a gardener in our neighborhood. From the preliminary interview, I got to know that he suffers from a dream disorder. He has constant nightmares and can't sleep well, as well as a memory disorder. Sometimes he doesn't remember what happened a couple of days or hours ago. I have some suspicions connected with his case, but it's too early for the detailed diagnosis. Ooh, this game looks pretty good. I was not expecting this game to look so good. I bought this game for like three dollars. This game looks fucking amazing. It is nothing certain. Please come to the morgue for identification purposes. Okay. Patient Edward 41. Oh, okay, so I'm Day like September patient. 11th. Patient has told me about his dreams where he tries to murder his wife and child. As far as he said before, he's a bachelor, and he hasn't said anything about children. It could be some traumatic memory from his childhood. I have to get to know about it during our next meeting. It is a harder case than I expected. Some symptoms indicate that the patient can possess a multiple personality. But these are only suspicions. I have to ask my friend, Abraham. So my assumption is that these are the beginnings of schizophrenia or a multiple personality disorder. However, you are the one who has more experience in psychopathology. Okie doke. Uh huh. All very sunny and bright and fun. That is what I do. Okay. St. Jonah Hospital. Alright. Um. Well, what the fuck happened here? This place is not very inviting. Don't you go, f don't you go doing that kind of shit. Alright. Alright, that's okay. 
You can, you do you. Oh, a rubber duck. Alright. Okay. Mr. Ghostman. Here I come. Come and spook me. Give me the spooks, please. I am playing a spooky game for the spooks. Okay, guess not. All very interesting. Very, very interesting, of course. What is that? What? 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 Oh. Alright, well, good thing that door is locked. Everyday, ordinary life. Oh, fuck! It went from like, woo spooky, to holy fucking shit, I'm done playing this game. Check eyesight. Room six, okay. Um, check eyesight. Room six. Eyesight, all right, okay. Hmm. Okay. Lots of stuff for me to touch. There's very, there's a lot of stuff for me to interact with in this game, but not all of it even leads to, like to something for me to actually look at. Check eyesight. Check eyesight. Check eyesight. Hmm. I don't know. Why is there so much? There's so much stuff for me to touch, and none of it actually does anything. I'm so confused. I am so confused. Check eyesight. H A S. Six two. Fuck, I'm stupid. It is okay. Spooky, spooky, spooky hallway. Oh, stop. Okay. Um, a key to her heart is located where your journey began. Okay. Yes. Oh, what the fuck was that? Stop. Yeah, that's right, bitch. I command ghosts. I don't give a shit. Them's are some nice chompers you got there. No match. Okay. Whoa! Stop doing that. Don't do that. You don't need to do that for anything. the fuck? What? Who's crying? What the fuck is going to happen? <laughs> fuck this game! Fuck it! Fuck this game! Alright, yep, uh-huh, continuing. Oh, cool, I get, to, I get to fly a bird! What the fuck? What am I flying over? Okay. 
Yep. Mm, yep, mm-hmm. Yeah, I have a room just like this, without a door. Is that a baby? Fuck off! Come on! Oh, thank Christ. Seriously, though. God. God, this game is so good looking. I love it. I love how good looking this game is. Um. Mm-hmm. Yep. As you do. You know. Yeah, I just. <sighs> what do you dig into? You shouldn't be there. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay. I guess that didn't hit me. Or it made, I guess it was fake. I don't know. This game is confusing. Then. Daddy, play with me. I'm at a loss for words. I don't uh, stay the fuck away from me. Where's the border between a dream and reality? What is our life? Is it that what is dreamt or that what we dream about? Tell me, dear Susan, what would you do if you couldn't sleep? Would you be able to take control over the dream that does not come but haunts you? Eddie. I don't know, Edster, but um, there's a demon child in the corner. Certificate of Death, Theodore O. Seven. Daddy, why did you allow him? Oh, that's fucked up. Okay, I think I know what's going on. Oh! Stay the fuck away from it. Alright, um, I think I know what's going on here. So, uh, crazy guy, personality disorder, doctor, help him finish the dream, strangle kid. Yeah, you know, um, couples get in arguments all the time, shit happens, you know, what, what can you say? Sometimes you break the banister a little bit. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not over- wait, and the darkness has not overcome it, yeah. Uh, uh. Very in oh hello. Ah, oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Whoa, those are knives. Oh fuck! I hope you do not mind, Edward. Um Okay. Very interesting. Thank you for uh, the whole side story with the floral arrangements. Missing fuses. All right. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Totally not a sex junk dungeon. Oh yes. Oh my favorite site. Weird pictures and shit posted all over the walls. Love it. Mm -hmm. Ooh, a fuse! Yes! What was that? This t oh. Oh yeah, you know. Totally not a sex dungeon, and I- you did, I did not leave a rubber ducky on that thing for any weird reason. Why the fuck would someone have a rubber ducky on what appears to be either an 18th century stretch torture machine or um yeah or um you know the other thing i was you know referencing earlier so all good fun 
I'm lighting the darkness. <laughs> Alright, I see you guys. Same shit, different day, it appears. Oh, recording. Patient Edward 41. Taking Get some pieces down. of advice from my friend Abraham, I established that Eddie suffers from a very mild split personality disorder. The other personality hasn't shown yet and hasn't taken him under control. There are only problems with memory and mild tics. I have to think about the kind of therapy I will apply. Okay. Oh man, okay. You know, they're just, they just be built different. Daddy. It's just how they live. You lost. It was so sad. I lost my figurines. Please find them for me. Don't fucking no, don't do that. Do not do that. Okay? Be innocent at least until you're about to like murder me. Don't just already with the voice change? Holy shit. Alright, moving on. We're moving on. I am moving on from that. Opening the door, leaving. Goodbye. Don't need that. Uh -huh. Okay. That's a nice figurine right there. Mm. What? I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna leave. Leaving! Bye bye! Moving on. Next thing. Uh, Alright, um, fuck you. Don't do it. Don't do it. Fuck you, kid. Fuck you and your friends. your previous letters and observations I believe the problem is connected with blank please give it some more thought I am worried about you and your family when I come back from blank I will visit you and we will talk Abraham PS send your wife and child someplace make sure that they are safe huh patient Eddie 41 day Having acquainted with the traumatic Eddie's past life, violence in the family, and pathology, I've decided that I will use a less invasive method of treatment. We can handle without hypnosis. The confrontation with the past and dreams connected with some mild anxiolytics should be enough. I think that finishing the dream, so killing the wife and child can join his split selves. All we need to do is wait and observe. Oh, oh, hey, cool. Um, oh man, alright, well, I was kind of expecting this one to be a shorter one, so, um, in order to keep it that way, uh, I'm going to cut this one off here. 
Thank you if you've made it this far for watching. Um, please think about liking and subscribing and leaving a comment about what you would like to see improve in the next one. And have a great day.